Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss about throughput units that is TU and guys, this is very important concept. See guys, we now know that a publisher, it will stream or send the data to event up that data from event up will be consumed by the consumer group and event up it can handle huge amount of data and all that. So we are now aware about this, but then as event up is handling huge amount of data, that means behind the scene it needs some processing power right so it needs some cpu some ram etc so that processing power is provided by throughput unit or tu okay so in simple words tu it's like processing power so it reflects the performance of event hub right so more tus that means more performance and that means event hub can handle more number of events okay now we select throughput units that is TU at namespace level and maximum number of TU per namespace it can be 40. Okay, but then what this TU is, I mean, uh, we are saying TU is processing power, but then what exactly one TU contains? So one TU that is one throughput unit for a event up, it can ingress that means it can accept one MB data per second or thousand events per second whichever comes first and again one TU for event up it can egress that means that means it can output 2 MB data per second or 4096 events per second I know guys uh, with this explanation it might not be clear to you so let's try to understand TU in detail with example so imagine you have one device which sends one event per second to the event up and size of each event for that device is 2 KB. So in this case, one TU, it can handle 500 devices because 500 into two, that means size become 1000 KB. That means it becomes one MB. So in this case, one TU, it can handle 500 devices. Let's try to understand it with another example. Say you have one device which sends one event per second and size of each event is one KB. So in that case, one TU, it will be able to handle thousand devices. Okay. So that's it guys. And in our next video, we'll try to understand how exactly we can select the number of throughput units and number of partitions based on our requirement. So thank you guys.